Hello and welcome to my video blog. I will tell you about an interesting topic that all of you are waiting for for too long. I will tell you about conspiracy theories. Welcome to Stranger Things. It is three principal groups of conspiracy theories that are very interesting. The first group is about the dangerous conspiracy theories. These conspiracy theories are uh, very popular today and they are very dangerous because uh, they try to spread in the population uh, some ideas that are dangerous uh, if you don't take care about what do you believe. Um, some of these theories are uh, the conspiracy theories about the COVID-19 and other diseases like cancer or HB and in fact this theory, conspiracy theories says that uh, this all these diseases didn't exist and they or they are created by scientists in laboratories they are not natural and they were created for control or destroy the population uh, of the world and maintain the mankind in control or destroy the mankind for uh, dark purposes or uh, to uh, make the the make the the people go sick and the pharmaceutical companies uh, create the cure or the vaccine or the vaccine for uh, sell more more medications uh, to the general public. This is dangerous because they create. Uh, some movements, uh, especially with the f diffusion of the um, social media and the internet, that makes that some uh, previously eradicated uh, disease like sarampion or varicella or other others, smallpox and other diseases that were controlled in the past are, are returning and in this moment we don't have a good uh, way to prevent uh, because people believe that the, the, the vaccines or the medications that the people, that the scientists are created for preventing this, this disease are really for provoke the disease. So, I call it then dangerous th conspiracy theories. Uh, in this case, the conspiracy theories is not funny, it's uh, dangerous. And take uh, some care when you uh, surfing the internet uh, about what you believe and don't believe. Okay, number two, the assassination of important people or important people faking their deaths. This is a conspiracy theory very popular because uh, always that a person that died, that died, um, that the people believe that is faking his death or was uh, murdered by uh, the authorities because this person uh, is um, making some important thing in the world. Uh, for example, uh, the Princess Diana of Wales, the, uh, she was assassinated by the royal family of the of the United Kingdom because uh, she was a problem for them. Or uh, in the case of um, John F. Kennedy that was assassinated by the CIA or was assassinated by the same government of the United States or uh, was assassinated by the Mafia. Um, uh, another example is the death of uh, some uh, famous um, actor or actress or singer like the case of Kurt Cobain or Marilyn Monroe that was assassinated because uh, she was lover of JFK and she knows uh, some important information that uh, the government of the United States uh, didn't want to come to like. So they orchestrated all uh, um, a conspiracy about uh, against this person and killed him. And it's, it's the same case with uh, some people that uh, the, the the people believe he's still alive, like that's the case that Pedro Infante in Mexico or Elvis Presley in the United States or 
uh, Paul McCartney that he was uh, he died in, in some moment and was replaced by an actor that all these years uh, since the, like 20 years we are seeing a fake uh, um, fake Paul McCartney in the scenarios making the role of this of this person. Uh, it's interesting because uh, this uh, comes because people, many mm, in many ways, didn't accept that an important person can die, and and they try to explain uh, with this with uh, these conspiracy theories. In the case of Pedro Infante in Mexico, um, some Mexicans believe that he's still alive, and, and in, in in some cases they believe that Pedro Infante fake his death and uh, he take the the he, he creates a, a person a, a, a fictional character in El Santo it was a, a Grester fighter so uh, he is still alive in the in the mind of many Mexicans in the world um, that can accept that he is dead and in the case of Elvis Presley uh, he wa he is uh, still alive and he has like 80 years and he lives in some um, little town in, in Arkansas or Tennessee. Uh, this uh, is very is very uh, frequently that another case um, about a person who fakes his death was Adolf Hitler. Um, many people believe that he fake it he's dead and he flies to Argentina and he is still alive and he he controls uh, many political um, movements in the world related with the Nazis so uh, all, all these theories uh, are interesting but maybe they are real and number three my favorite conspiracy theories is about aliens okay the aliens, the aliens are uh, in the earth, it is in the earth since, since uh, the beginning of the mankind. They helped the, the Mayans or the Egyptians to build their monumental buildings. They uh, intervene in historical events uh, along the, uh, in, 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 in the, in, in the story of the human, of the human, the humankind and uh, the controls in the shadows, uh, the authorities of the world, and uh, of the governments of the governments of important countries like the United States or Europe, or Europe or uh, Russia, are uh, uh, have deals with these uh, creatures to uh, uh, maintain in the shadows, maintain occult the reality that the aliens are uh, between us and they control all the, all the decisions of the, the humankind uh, uh, this may be it may be this is not real in in all the ways that they pretend I think the reason that they think that the aliens can uh, help to build the pyramids uh, is a um, idea that the actual people didn't understand uh, how the old Egyptians uh, built these this, uh, monumental buildings without uh, the technology that we have today. But uh, um, we don't understand that now, but in that, mo in that uh, age maybe they can understand how home built pyramids. Um, but an um, easy way to explain these uh, things, uh, th this kind of, of, of things, is um, attribute these constructions to um, galactic rays of uh, non-human beings. Okay, um, this is interesting. Uh, um, in 1947, with the case of Roswell, uh, many conspiracy theories say that they uh, occult this event and that was the start of the relationship between the authorities of the United States government and the aliens. So, uh, 
in exchange for uh, the aliens can't take human beings and study them in their UFOs, um, the government of the United States uh, obtained some alien technologies to um, keep, con con uh, keep controlling the war uh, for many years. So uh, I want to talk very much about, the, about this, but the video has already 10 minutes and I think that the, the idea was clear. Okay, uh, thank you for seeing my video blog and goodbye.